I saw the past I left behind me Like a mirror hidden in your eyes I was a man that left is always But in your heart I see a dark disguise And even though those times are over I could still be stolen back To when the world was on my shoulders I was fighting for you Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this glowy fall makeup look. Boy, it has been a long time since I filmed a makeup tutorial, so I'm totally overdue for this video. I hope I still remember how to film a tutorial. Anyways, let's get started. I'm going to start off with my skin. I'm going to be applying my Mecca Cosmetica Illuminating Primer. I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply it on. I've been using this primer for maybe the last two to three weeks whilst I was in LA and I absolutely love it. I love how it gives you that nice, glowy, healthy skin. Voila. Who else likes dewy skin? I feel like we should start like a dew squad. Who's with me? Next, I'm gonna apply my foundation. I'm trying out a new one that I haven't tried before. It's the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It's still brand new, so I gotta open it. Hopefully it matches my skin. The color looks okay, we'll see. I'm going to use a foundation brush to apply it on my skin. I'm just gonna use it to spread it out and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender to blend it in. The color I'm using is golden, so this color matches my skin perfectly. So with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna work it in and blend and press it into my skin. And it gives you that really nice airbrush look. Now with my skin, I like to keep it quite natural looking and not so thick. So with the areas that I need a bit more coverage, I'm just going to apply a bit more foundation around that area. But with the rest, I like to keep the foundation quite sheer. Now I'm going to correct underneath my eyes and conceal with my MAC Studio Conceal and Corrector. I'm using this pink side first. That's just going to counteract any darkness. And with the yellow side, I'm gonna use that to counteract any redness. So I usually get a bit red under here. Now with correctors, you don't wanna apply a crazy amount. You just want it quite sheer because we're gonna go in with concealer over it. So keep it thin. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm just gonna use that to conceal and highlight the high points of my face. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Whilst I'm still working on my base, I like to contour, so I'm going to use the Smashbox Stick Contour. And I'm just going to quickly map out the areas I want to contour. These sticks are super creamy and really blendable and it makes it really quick to map out your face. Then I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush just to blend it out. With the nose area, I'm just gonna go in with the highlight stick and just highlight the bridge there. And then just blend it in with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm ready to set my base with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just going to pat on the powder. I'm not really into baking at the moment. I don't want to overdo it with the powder because I want my skin to be quite dewy and when you just like bake everything, it just makes everything matte. So you're kind of like taking the shine away and then you have to add it back in. So I'm just going to be very light handed with my powder. For the contoured areas and the perimeters of my face, I'm just going to bronze it up with my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. I'm just going to lightly dust it. I've just quickly filled in my eyebrows off camera, but if you want to see a full tutorial, check out some of the videos on my channel. Now I'm going to move on to eyes. I'm going to start off by applying my Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. So I'm just going to apply it on with a flat brush. To set my primer, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Mirage eyeshadow and just apply that all over my lid. Then I'm going to grab Cocoa Bear 
and use that color as my transition color. I'm going to blend it into my crease and be very light handed with this color. I just want to work and build up the color slowly. Then I'm going to grab a bit more of that color and just work it into my socket. With a flat brush, I'm just going to run that color along my lower lash line. And just slowly diffuse it out so there's no harsh edges. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to diffuse that even more and I'm just going to blend it up with the top shadow. Next, I'm going to go in with my custom made glitter and glow eyeshadow. I actually made this when I went to visit Stella in LA, so it's pretty cool. So this is a custom color. Ooh. So I'm just gonna pop this in the middle, and I love this color, because it's like a burnt coppery glitter color. Then I'm gonna grab a flat brush and just blend the edges out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that color and just run it along my lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. And I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to tightline my eyes with a brown eyeliner from Eye of Horus. And I'm just going to diffuse that line out. To finish off my eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes, apply mascara, and then lashes. For mascara, I'll be using my Smashbox Full Exposure Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to apply it top and bottom. You know what, this is my first time using this mascara and I really, really like it. Ooh, it makes my lashes look so long. Now I'm gonna pop on a pair of wispy lashes. Lashes just help to really open up the eyes and I've been loving all like the wispy kind so it's not too heavy. If you guys have trouble putting on your lashes, make sure you check out my tutorial. Just click here. It's really quick and easy. It's time to move on to lips. I'm going to apply my Smashbox Out Loud Liquid Lipstick. As you can tell, I'm really into these like rusty burnt orange tones. I think it's like perfect for autumn fall. And I think for my cheeks, I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks up a little bit and then highlight and then I'm done. So I'm just gonna go back in with my hourglass bronzer and just use it as a cheek color. Ooh yeah. Then to highlight, I'm gonna use my MAC Soft and Gentle with a fan brush. And I'm just going to apply a little bit ooh, around my cheeks. Look at that. It's the Do Squad. Just do it. And maybe a little bit underneath my brow bone. And even though those times are over, I could still be stolen back to when the world was on my shoulder. So that's it to this makeup tutorial. Make sure you comment and give me some more inspirations for what sort of looks you want to see. I am very in need of some inspiration like ASAP, so comment below. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and join the Do Squad. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.